In today's video, we're looking at some brand new mystery packs. What's up, guys? We're back with another mystery pack opening, this time courtesy of Card Breaker GT on Instagram. We have done sort of collabs with him before. We meant to do like sort of a like battle sort of video at some point. We still haven't done it, but it's going to happen at some point. But he just released his new mystery packs, and I decided I'd pick up five of them just for the heck of it. You know, have a little fun. I love mystery packs. I like Card Breaker GT. So why not grab some and see what they're like? He also sent us a note uh, with these. I did purchase these, by the way. These were not given to me. Uh, I did purchase them just because. I figured, uh, you know, if you're buying mystery packs, you kind of want to like buy them versus like have them given to you and stuff like that. Because if they're sent to you, there's like always like, oh, but did they send them the perfect ones? Which they could still th say that because I paid, but I paid for them. So it's a little bit different. So keep that in mind when you're watching this. Uh, most of them are sold at this point anyway. So it's not like it's going to boost his sales or anything by being on the channel. But go check out his YouTube channel because he has his own, which is pretty great. So go check that out. And let's check out this note. Thanks for checking out my mystery packs. I set a goal to create mystery packs at a realistic ratio to pull at least one of the chase items. Some that I've opened felt like scams or a way to offload bulk. Look at you, Walmart power cubes. That's very, very, very true. I knew these had to be worth the investment. There are 22 total chase packs that contain at least two times the value of the pack, which is $70 plus. Each pack is $35. So I paid for five, 35 times five is what I paid. More, inf more information available on my channel if you're interested. I think he has like 20 packs left at the time of recording this out of 200. They're probably going to be close to sold out. So you can go check those out if you would like. May Thor, Lord of the Acer, bless these packs for you so we can see some Yugi magic. I've also included a pack for you to give away to your viewers. Just have them come back and check out the channel. Go check it out, guys. I'll have it linked in the description. Much love and much thanks. Keep bringing joy to this community. Your friend, Cardbreaker GTA Cardbreaker. Thank you so much for the love and support. Everybody go check him out. His channel is doing a lot better recently, like a lot better. That makes it sound like it's bad, but I mean, it's like growing, like is what I'm trying to say. So he's doing really well recently. Uh, and he has given us a giveaway. So that's for you guys. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below what you think of the mystery packs. I know some, some people are not gonna like mystery packs no matter what they are. So. If you're if you're one of those people, just say I'm not a mystery pack fan. Don't necessarily destroy them because you're not going to like them anyway. Right. So if you are a mystery pack person, though, and you don't think they're great, let us know down below. A card breaker GT can use this as feedback for if he does 2.0 or whatever. So let's get to it. And because there's only five, by the way, there are no packs in these. This is all single cards. So it's a little bit different from the ones that I did where it was sassy auto, where it was like all sealed packs. This is like single cards. So there is a little that is something that I personally don't do because a lot of the times it's like you just have to deal with all the people questioning it, like your integrity. Like, what if you just didn't put the cards in there and stuff like that? So there is that you got to deal with when there are single cards. But card breaker GT is a trusted guy. And I'm sure that he probably did some sort of due diligence about how to prove like I put these in there for sure. If he didn't, maybe consider that for 2.0, just in case these get really popular. And I also have some old school packs that we're going to be opening in the middle of these, some originals right here, like Invasion of Chaos and stuff like that. And then, um, you know, Dawn of Majesty, just because Starlet Stardust. OK, we're going to start off with the Dawn of Majesty. I'm very excited to see about Cardbreaker GT, even if we don't get anything. Look, I, I've sold mystery packs before, at least I've been part of selling mystery packs with Sassy Auto. So I know this is how it works. I mean, you're not always going to get something good. Sometimes you'll get the good packs. Sometimes you won't. Sometimes you get the good cards. Sometimes you won't. So I'm hoping that we will. Uh, and we're just going to kind of see what they look like. I am friends with them, but I will try to be fair with like what I think about them and stuff like that. So we're going to do two packs every time. Stream Victory First Edition. Let's see what we can pull. I'm excited to check these out. One, two, three, four. And if you do want to uh, buy something from me personally from Ruxin34, go check out Ruxin34.com. I have a lot of stuff available there, including PSA cards, CGC cards, uh, sealed boxes, sealed 10, stuff like that. So go check that out. Lantron, we have Nebula Meteorite, Contract with Aqua Mirror, TG Warwolf, Necro Defender. And, oh, wait, I did four from the back. That was wrong. But we didn't get anything anyway, so no big deal. OK, let, I should probably put these out here. Let's open the first mystery pack. Let's, OK, these are, are you, how do you open these? I'm just going to cut these open. I think you can probably open them this way, maybe. I don't know. Let's just cut them. This is all this is what happens with me, even with legitimate booster packs. I end up just like, I don't know. I'm not going to figure it out. OK, we've cut it open. Let's see what's inside. I don't know how many cards you get. Uh, OK, that reveals like that. So they're all sleeved. I kind of like that. So they're all sleeved. So, you know, you know, they're at least protected in some way. They're not going to get completely damaged. I guess you just flip them around like this. So right off the bat, you get some commons. OK. Common, unpossessed, uh, frontline observer. So two commons, one rare, one super rare, masquerade the blazing dragon. Okay, let's pull that over here to the super pile. We have Paleozoic Cambro Roaster, another super rare. These are kind of like Megatons. You get supers, ultras, contract with the abyss, catapult turtle, an original metal raiders card. So not crazy expensive, but an original card. So very cool. And an Exo Sisters packs. Exo Sisters packs. 
secret rare. So prismatic secret rare. So uh, the coolest one for me, obviously the catapult turtle. If you check this thing out, original print. Let's check what the condition is. So another thing with uh, loose card uh, mystery boxes is then you have to deal with the conditions. So there's something you got to it's like, well, some of them are going to be nice. Some of them are not, you know, depending on the price of the value, stuff like that. But cool. We got an original card. I like that. OK, let's open up this other extreme victory pack, see what we can get first. So we have five total packs from Card Breaker and we have uh, 10 packs of other stuff. So three and then I think it's flippity flip here. We flip like that. We have the reboot psychic reactor, Rux and special mech lord. ESP Amplifier, Gladiator Beast Tigarius, Mechlord Factory, Serene Psychic Witch, Psychic Field Zone, and Aurora Paragon. That is just a common. Okay, let's try this first Ed Rise of Destiny pack. Let's get an Ultimate Rare right here. That'd be pretty amazing. Maybe we'll get an Ultimate Rare or a Ghost. I, actually, he put the pulls for these packs on his Instagram, and I don't remember what they were, but I think there was an, there's some ultis in there. I don't remember if there was a Ghost or not. I think you can do four on Rise of Destiny, right? Okay, Harpy Lady 1, that's classic. Bokoichi, the Frightening Car, first edition. Heavy Metal Support Platform, Astral Barrier. I don't remember if we even know if these are hobby or retail, Rise of Destiny, so uh, I don't know what we can get. Harpy Girl, that's a, a decent common, though. We have a Back to Square 1. And a Pikachu Circle of Enchantment, so we did get a Super Rare. Not bad, I'll take it. It would be cool if it was an ulti, but Super will work. Pack number 2. Oh, wait, I see the pull tab now. I see it. I figured it out. Don't worry, guys. I used my brain. Uh, see, like this is deceiving. It looks like I guess that's where they were sealed. Kind of looks like that should have like a resealable thing there, but I guess it doesn't. OK, Soul Strike. We got Aroma Blend. Ash Blossom Super. That's great. It's a good card. Wait, that was before the rare. Misprint? Misprint? I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or not. OK, cool. Ash Blossom is a good card. Salamander with Chain. Wait, that was before both the rares. I think it was a... Wait, there's a common. Wait, what? I think they were mixed up. That was supposed to be where the ash was, I think. Then we have an original twin-headed thunder dragon. That's beautiful. Sphere of Chaos Secret. Okay, so no ultra in that pack, but we did get two supers. Okay, so we last time we got an ultra, two supers, and a secret. This time we didn't, but we got two original cards in Ash Blossom, so it was actually a better pack. Let's see what the uh, the cards look like. If you do like original cards, I mean, this is pretty cool because we so far we've gotten three original cards, like old school cards. Two from like old, old school. And then we have one from 5Ds as well. Sphere of Chaos. It's actually a pretty decent secret rare, actually. Very nice. So 35 bucks each. Keep that in mind when you're watching this. Uh, pretty clean card, honestly. It looks pretty near mint. All right, nice stuff. Let's try Invasion of Chaos now. Original print right here. Let's get that CED, BLS, DMOC. All that stuff would be great. One, two, three, four. Right here, we have Begone, Nave, Giant Hand, Amphibious Bugroth, MK3. Ray Koki, Gail Lazard, Grandmazu De Aiza, Tower of Babel, Fenrir, Crimson Ninja, and Mad Dog of Darkness. The darkness has made him mad. Original print. Okay, now let's open a Legacy of Darkness Unlimited pack. Here we go. Speaking of Legacy of Darkness, I have sealed unlimited booster boxes. If you guys are interested on Ruxin34.com, go check it out. And speaking of Invasion of Chaos, I also have a sealed Invasion of Chaos booster box. Go check those out. Those are original cards. All right, Convulsion of Nature. We have Woodland Sprite, Dragon's Gunfire, Wing Beat of Giant Dragoon, Wing Minion, Burst Breath. Give us something big. Ejection Very Lovely would be nice. Frontier Wiseman, Possessed Dark Soul, and oh, a Fiber Jar. Another one. We just pulled one of these recently, didn't we? We also graded a PSA 10 Unlimited, so I'm pretty sure we pulled that one as well. Centering is not great, but it's also pretty good for Legacy of Darkness. Uh, it's pretty off for anything else, but it's a little bit pushed that way, a little bit pushed up. But LOD, it could be a lot worse. Ultra rare fiber jar. I'm liking that. Good stuff. Okay, pack number three here. Let's see what we can pull. Can we get something epic? Let's see what these mystery packs can bless us with. We have... That's a rare right at the front. What in the world? I'm so confused. Okay, then an ultra. But this is a Battles Legend Crystal Revenge Ultra. So I guess it doesn't count as like a full ultra because it's guaranteed in that set. The uh, Straight Slasher, Secret Rare, that's kind of more like a Super or Ultra in that set. Court of Cards, Super Rare. Ultimate Rare, Jax Knight, whoa! Okay, and Queen's Knight, and whoa! The Trifecta! All ultimate rares, King's Knight, Queen's Knight, Jack Knight. Okay, there's gonna be there's gonna be some skeptical comments, I know, because that's gotta be one of the better pulls. Getting all three ultis in the same mystery pack. Wow, 
Okay, so just so you know, I'm gonna say it here and you can believe me or not. We didn't have any agreement about I'm gonna get a great pack. I can't control what he did. I don't think that he just gave me good packs or anything like that, but there's no agreement to that. So keep that in mind. I mean, I did get a really amazing pull just then. Three ulties. I don't know if the value is actually that crazy though. We'll have to see what the value is. I'm guessing three ulties. I guess they're about 20 each, maybe 25. So anywhere from 60 to 75 kind of depends on the condition for the unlimbs, but I could be wrong. Unlimbs could be more for this set just because it's a fan favorite. Let's check the condition. Yeah, so it's not like a near mint card. You can see through the back. I'd say this is like, got some scratch. I would have this at like mod play. It could be considered light play. Uh, So anywhere from that. So that's, I mean, that's probably 20 to 25. It's probably pretty fair at that condition. Let's see about the others. See what kind of condition they look like. Honestly, this is really cool to get all three of these. Uh, Queen's Knight. Yeah, I mean, about the same. Scratching on the back, a little bit of indenting, which if it's just indenting, I usually don't really care too much, but if with the scratching and stuff, it's got to come down a little bit. Okay. And then the King's Knight, very nice, beautiful stuff. Uh, King's Knight back has, that's probably the cleanest one. That one's probably definitely light play. Maybe even a little, maybe even closer to near mint. It's a nice card. So honestly, really, really nice set. We're going to have an estimate of what the price is. Definitely made over 35 bucks on that pack though, the cost of the pack. So really great pull. Honestly, it's been a pretty good pretty good uh video so far we pulled fiber jar out of my packs we had a triple ulti pull a sphere of chaos i mean look maybe look maybe the packs are just this good you get some old school cards in there which a lot of packs don't give you so very cool uh one two three four uh what in the world is that card that card's got some stuff on it okay driving snow get that get that thing off the road they're not they're not legally allowed to drive. Okay, brothers, we have Rain of Mercy, Magic Crusher, Ladybug of Doom. We have Metal Detector, Flying Kamikiri number two, three of Guido, and we have Appropriate. It's not appropriate for us to not pull anything. Okay, we're going to save IOC for the end. Let's open this Labyrinth of Nightmare. Original print pack. Can we get something good? I think out of these, we've only gotten one big hit. It was the Fiber Jar, right? One, two. I mean, not Labyrinth of Nightmare, but just my packs. Hysteric Fairy. We have Cyclone Laser, Headless Knight. Lady Panther, that is Bryce Young's wife. We have a uh, Blade. We have Wind Spirit. We have Anakin. Emperor's Holiday and Spirit Message. Hey, no L. That's a good sign. Hey, that's good. We'll take it. All right, two more mystery packs. Let's open this thing up. Last one was pretty insane. I mean, honestly, we got really lucky getting that. Bestial Magnum Hut. Very nice. We have. Uh, why is that at the front? See, I don't understand the order. Is there an order? There might not be an order. Secret Rare, we have Ice Trade Curse, Heroic Champion, Zhang Gripper, we have uh, Cyber Blader, Super Rare, that's an original out of, what's that? Elemental Energy, okay. Symphonic Warrior Guitars, Golden Rule, Do Unto Others, Overload Fusion. Oh, and a Lady Heat, that's an awesome card. Premium Pack 2, that's really cool. I don't know the value of this card, but it's a really awesome card. Elemental Hero, really nice looking Secret Rare. I mean, Lady Heat, I'm sure there's some simps out there that love that okay two packs left here we go then we're going to card breaker so far we've gotten some great pulls every pack's had an old school card in it which is you know a big fan for me i'm an old school guy okay pharaoh servant one two three four here we go by choose the all-seeing yt gray minor goblin official ground collapse i don't i barely pulled any foils out of the pharaoh servant so i'm not expecting much but if we do get Genzo, I'm going to be happy. Flying Kamikiri number two, three to Guido. And speaking of, we're going to be opening Pharaoh Servant first ad next Tuesday uh, live. So if you guys want to be here for the live, it'll be at 5 p.m. Central next Tuesday or it's probably the weekend we're seeing this. So in just in a couple days. So keep that on your on your calendar. Here we go. Oh, a premature burial. We got some out of these Pharaoh Servant. Finally, there we go. A pre-mat. That's a great card. Super good old school card. Little Monster Reborn, but the equip version. Very, very nice. We'll take that. Okay. IOC, give us one more awesome pull. It's been a great video. Great video in terms of pulls, both on my end and the Cardbreaker GT Mystery Packs. Here we go. Ryu Koki. That's an awesome common. Gale Lazard. Cannonball Spear Shellfish. GD Borderline. Primal Seed. Self-destruct button, no, no, Grandmaja Day Isa. Tower of Bell and the Ultra Evolution Pill. Okay, nothing in IOC. That's okay, because we have one more mystery pack. So far, I mean, there hasn't really been, I'd say like the first one was the worst one with just the catapult turtle. That one wasn't great. We definitely didn't make any money on that pack. Uh, but overall, they've been pretty good. Uh, Mud Dragon, we have Thunder Dragon Duo. I like this card, it's classic. Not really classic. It's not classic at all, actually, but Thunder Dragons are classic, so very cool. Uh, Dimension Shifter, 
Acid Rain from DL8. That's pretty cool to see. Acid Rain. Destroy all machine type monsters. That was a side deck card in Duel Links for a while. I know. Duel Links. Uh, Dark Ruler No More. I hadn't mentioned it yet. I was doing so good. Uh, Emissary of the Afterlife. A lot of old school cards here. And what is this? 3 2000. Spirit uh, Magic Ruler card? No, 300. Magic Ruler card is 100. Banisher of the Light. Stone Statue of the Aztecs, right, okay. Ancient Sanctuary, super rare, first edition. So overall, we got a lot of good pulls out of there. It is a mystery pack being sent to a YouTuber that's gonna open them up, so there's always a grain of salt to take it with, but from a guy that I believe is trusted, so I think it's a good pack. You have to be really careful with these single card ones because you're literally manufacturing like the amount. You have to have the right amounts put in there like overall to make it worth worth it in theory to go for it. It's a fine line across. I think he did pretty good from what we've seen. I only opened five out of the 200, so I can't be 100% sure, but I do like these. I think they were fun. I like that you get old school in every single pack. That's something that I know a lot of his followers, a lot of my followers would really like and appreciate. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe. Go check out Cardbreaker GT if you're interested in his content or in his packs. He may make a second round at some point. Shout out to Tone Fosho, Puff and Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Another Tai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barning, Robert F, Thomas McLean, Cheng Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.